Hi, I'm Sonia Lifshitz, and I'd like to share with you some thoughts about Stalin's Piano, a project I developed and conceived in collaboration with a very close and dear colleague of mine, composer Robert Davidson. We all make music whenever we speak, and we all have our own individual musical style. Stalin's Piano is a multimedia work for solo piano and video, using archival video footage and recorded voices of iconic artists and politicians. To what would you attribute you the warmth and the naturalness of your music? Well, I don't know that my music... Well, I don't know that my music is consistently warm and natural, but I think the impression that it's, uh, What is it, cheerful? Mm -hmm. Comes from people not knowing most of my compositions, but I think I'm very nervous. <laughs> Stalin's Piano is a completely immersive work that takes the audience on a roller coaster ride through modern history and the stories and conversations that have shaped it. My cities are green cities. My houses give sun, space, and green. Sun, space, and green. Stalin's piano really redefines and reimagines what a piano recital can be in the 21st century using technology that's available to us today. Um, it really challenges the notions we have about the roles of the performer, composer and the audience, uh, really integrating the experience to create uh, a very stimulating, challenging and immersive experience for the audience. You are part of the war on women. You are part of the war on women. I think the big problem this country has is being politically correct. I think the big problem this country has is being politically correct. And I will not be lectured about sexism and misogyny by this man. I will not. And the government will not be lectured about sexism and misogyny by this man. Not now, not ever. What makes it so special to me to perform this project is the very intimate connections that I get to establish with my audience. In his final years, Stalin didn't let anyone to see him for days at a time. He listened to the radio a lot. Once he called the radio committee asking if he had a record of Mozart's piano concerto number 23 heard on the radio the day before, played by Eugenia here. Of course, they told him, actually, there was no record, the concert had been live, but they were too afraid to say no to Stalin. that audiences have responded really emotionally and I think it's because when you listen to the music behind words you can get into those deeper unspoken meanings and emotions. We've always had members of the audiences in tears and often in uproarious laughter as well. It covers a big range of emotions and it's something which explores history in a way which is not like any other piece. That this recording of Mozart was on the record player when the great leader was found dead in his dacha. It was the last thing he had listened to.